they flew, flew the kids to the North Pole. I've seen that. They used the Grizzlies charter plane for it. Oh. But they played in Memphis last night. The last phase of demolition at the Criminal Justice Center has started as those cell walls come crashing down. Certain cases and memories are resurfacing. Alexandra Cohen met up with the sheriff today who shared some history of some of Nashville's most infamous criminals. Carrie, when the jail was built in 1982, it was meant to hold about 300 inmates. At times, I'm told it was holding 2,000. So now the sheriff here in Davidson County is looking forward to operating a safer and more efficient facility. It's hard to drive downtown without noticing old jail cells peering back at you. All the cell block was all steel cells. So breaking them apart is, is quite a job. We've got the ball that's Hitting that, knocking that down, and just ripping them apart. As this wrecking ball destroys the Metro Jail. Yeah, it's amazing they put this equipment up in the jail. Memories have resurfaced. Lives began here. We delivered babies in this building, and we lost lives in that building. And uh, so it's just had a lot of history for Nashville, and it's time to move on. Sheriff Darren Hall says crews are in the last phase of demolition, breaking down the steel that at one time surrounded some of the county's most dangerous inmates. People said, there's the fourth floor. I used to be assigned to that floor, and there goes the cell that Perry March was in. Or Anything you want to say? We covered Perry March's case back in 96. He killed his wife. Her body was never found. I got addicted to sucking the souls out of the people that I was killing. Another inmate who was housed here was a man who described himself as a serial killer. Why'd you do it? Because it felt good. Uh, one of them was a man named Henry Hodges that was in on several murder charges. and He actually climbed up on the very top and, and dangled his legs over the side and threatened to jump. And it spent, I don't know, four or five hours of negotiations getting him off the side. That wasn't the only attempted escape that happened at this historic site. We were able to to, to kind of receive some information and eventually he shook down the cells and found evidence that they were they were working on having a helicopter land on the roof and, and to escape. And these were serious gang members. While the sheriff says they foiled that elaborate plan, it certainly raised questions with the feds who demanded changes shortly after it was built. Yeah, you want to learn from some of that. You know, one of the things is that was built in 82. We've learned a lot in the, in the, in the industry about what's safe and secure. So as memories linger here, Sheriff Hall hopes the new jail will be better for everyone. And some folks who even have done time have contacted us and said uh, uh, that building represents a dark time in their life and they've moved on. So that's been good, good to see as well. Demolition is supposed to wrap up by the end of February. The new jail will also have a mental health facility. The sheriff will move his headquarters to East Nashville. Reporting live in downtown Nashville, Alexander Cohen, News Channel 5.